today from Hard Rock Stadium. Miami, Florida. This is the NFL on EA Sports. or so miles northwest of world famous Miami Beach as we are set for football at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens. Today we've got an AFC East matchup between the New England Patriots and the Miami Dolphins. Here's the punter Jake Bailey ready to do the honors and we are underway from Miami and they will elect to not bring this one out as our first drive will begin at the 25. The Dolphins Take the field with Tua Tungavailoa, their quarterback from Alabama, at the helm. And for all the collegiate success he had, highest passer efficiency rating by a mile. He's a guy who's had to share up detractors at the professional level, but I do like his poise, I do like his moxie, and I love his accuracy. Tua now on first down. And get this to his tight end, Gesicki. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. A good safe pass there right off the bat. That's almost a rhythm play. That's what we like to call it. Get them into rhythm early, something safe, something they're confident about, something they feel good. And once that's completed, then you just keep moving from there because the confidence elevates. And this Patriot defense up to the challenge once more as they again stop him behind the line. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through, but that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Out of the gun on third down. Here's Tua. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. On fourth down, Michael Pilardi on to punt. Back deep for the Patriots, Gunnar Olszewski. And this will be touchdown inside the 20. They'll spot it at the 18-yard line. So now the Patriots getting set to take over on offense. They're led by their quarterback from the University of Alabama, Mac Jones. Mac Jones absolutely believed in himself coming out of high school. Went to Alabama despite the fact there were many high-profile quarterbacks already on the roster and blossomed into a Heisman Trophy candidate in his final season with 41 touchdowns and only four interceptions. Steady, consistent as a passer, didn't have the biggest cannon for an arm, but can stretch the field and lay those passes in on the deep ball. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. The limited running room is he'll get about three to the 21. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. McForsey in completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Like so many tight ends nowadays, they have no problem at all putting him in the slot and letting him go to work. And that's a nice pitch and catch right there for a first down. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Harris going to get it again on second down. And he's going to have a Patriots first down as he's got this up to the 40-yard line. A couple of nice carries back-to-back -back here, establishing the ground game a bit. Yeah, these aren't bare-bones runs now. I mean, they're getting substantial yardage, the kind of yards you're looking for, right? Let's go ahead and use a cliche. Stay ahead of the change, right? Five, more, five or more yards each time. That's what you're looking for in setting a tone and getting your offensive line going. Good sign on the opening drive. Second and ten. 
On the give, this is Harris. All right, Brandon, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. Now Jones. And this one complete to Smith. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. Well, from their point of view, this game could not be starting out much better, could it? Force a punt on defense, and now they're moving it crisply on offense. Crisply, I like that. Like yeah, that. yeah, moving it very, very well. Looks like the defense on their heels a little bit. You put a score in here, long way to go, but you're right, that's a heck of a start. Yeah, and I think this is where the play caller is looking at his play sheet and saying, do I have that dagger play? Do I have that play and just finish them off right now? Because I think they'd love to gain that big advantage early. Throwing Jones. Open man is Myers. And he will lose yardage here to the 31 yard line. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. They hand this off to Harris, and he'll get about three as he's brought down to the 28. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Jones now to throw on third down. That's complete into the hands of Myers. And he will not make it to that imaginary yellow line as they get him to the ground at about the 23. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game, but it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. you got to go and make the tackle right away. And he gets this down to the 18, good enough for a first down. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Off the bootleg, Jones eluding the pressure right. Jones, a 13-yard touchdown run, and the Pats have taken the early lead. The defensively didn't seem like anybody had eyes on the quarterback, and he took advantage. So you think that maybe you were seeing some pretty good instincts for a young guy? Because that's the thing you worry about coming out of college. You're used to getting away with just about anything you want to do. You're just superior. Here, he has to read it, figure it out, and know when it's time to go. Extra point up and good by Folk, and it's now a 7-0 game. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. Here's Carter now on the return. And they've got it up past the 35, so pretty good starting field position. On first and 10, Jones. Complete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. They run with Harris. Gets this to the 24 for a gain of four. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Jones hit, and the ball's out. We always 
guys hear a lot of veterans on the defensive side of the football. They talk about smelling blood in the water, putting pressure on a rookie. They got to him there to force it free, but couldn't recover it. And you mentioned the pressure. Rookie quarterback, you're going to bring more pressure at him at all times because you don't know how he's going to hold up. He was fortunate there. Luck was on his side, able to recover that fumble. And yeah, that is incomplete, but there is a flag. And on fourth down, this is a big call. So a big chunk of yardage will be marked off there for that B.I. goal. And now you know why receivers and the guys throwing the ball, they like to collaborate and just heave it up sometimes because you can get these types of calls that go against the defense. Pass interference, and they gain over 30 yards of real estate on that one. Now a first down carry for Harris. Taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. He completes it to Henry. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. First and 10, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. Now Harris. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. 56 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. They'll run with Harris. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy. Let him pick up the first down. Looking to throw, Jones. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. After all the preparation, all the practice, a play like that will absolutely break your heart. They had everything they wanted, just unable to complete it. In the end zone, a big-time drop. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Damian Harris, an eight-yard touchdown run. And the Patriots, they add on to their lead. Extra point hooking, but he does make it through. And it's now 14 to nothing. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. Waddle is going to elect to not bring this out, and instead his guys will begin at the 25-yard line. Miami's offense set and ready to go. They've had it twice. They've punted twice, not the start they were hoping for. Not at all, and let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice, so they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got to jump here. So a jump there defensively. And it's a killer. Watch. Play fake here on first down. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Give the sack to Jerome Baker. I think this defense, Charles, realizing the deficit they're facing, they're going to have to step up and make more plays like we just saw there. Yeah, and those are the type of plays that can focus the defense because, as we know, they've had their trouble so far in this one. But they just proved to themselves that they can get to him, and I expect them to continue to bring that type of pressure in order to try and turn around their fortunes. New England on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This will be third and six. 
Open man is Kendrick Bourne. He's at the 30. And they're going to get this all the way inside the Miami 15. A big play there for New England. That was awfully nice. Hit him in stride and off he went. It was almost like the ball hitting him was like him receiving a baton and he was running the anchor leg in a relay race. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Harris. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Damian Harris with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Patriots add on to their lead. So simple math here in the first half. They've had three drives offensively, and they have scored every time, and they've got the lead. Well, whenever we talk about adjustments, we usually talk about an offense making adjustments, right? This is all about the defense. They've got to figure out some way, somehow, to slow them down. Do they blitz a little bit more? Do they play more zone coverage? Right now, they don't know where to go because they're hitting them in every direction. the touchdown. Waddle is going to elect to not bring this out, and instead his guys will begin at the 25-yard line. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. Again, it's Harris on second down. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. This guy's well on his way now to a big game on the ground. It's another good run there. Puts him over the century mark in yardage, and we're still in the second quarter. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. And how about the call here? They need two yards in their own territory on fourth down, and they're going to go for it. They'll try and run with a fullback, Johnson. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. Surprised at all that they went with a fullback there? Not at all, because it harkened back to the days where we watched these games almost in black and white, right? The stocky guy, the strong guy, the powerful guy with leg drive, give him the football, and even if the blocking isn't perfect, he has the ability to scatter bodies and move people enough to pick up first downs. That's what we just saw right there. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Here's a give to the fullback. That's Johnson. And he'll get it down here to the 43. They've definitely established a rhythm on this drive, moving the ball quite well. And big man with football is an integral part of the whole thing. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 43. Back to throw, Jones. And that one drops down, incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. On second and 10, Jones. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And that ball incomplete. He couldn't work free from his defender, and now it's third down. New England on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and ten. And he can only manage to take this thing to the 38, well shy of the first down. Call it a gain of four, and it'll bring up fourth down. The Patriots will bring on the field goal unit. This officially a 55-yard attempt. A 
Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. And they're going to at least line up to go for it here on fourth down. Looking to throw. Jones. He's got his man. It's Kendrick Bourne. And he's taken down inside the 30. And that's a big pickup of a first down. And you know that all week, both sides of the ball, offense and defense, are going through every situation. And in this case, the offensive guys had the right play dialed up because defensively, you work on fourth down situations as well. And deflating for the defense, they can't get the stop here. From the 22, Jones. And this is caught. A spectacular one-handed grab there. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. On second down now, it's Harris. And he's going to get it inside the 10 to the 7-yard line. 129 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off with great anticipation. And the Dolphins are going to have it here at their own 9-yard line. That pick hurts a little extra because it was third down. You were already in field goal range. You know what he's going to hear all night, all next week? Situational football. Understand what's going on because you expressed it perfectly. Three points were in their hip pocket. They had those. Now those went by the wayside. You cannot make those kind of mistakes. That's what you call a rookie mistake. Gaskin again on second down. And not much here as he'll get it to the 11, maybe the 12-yard line. Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. He's going to loft it deep right sideline. And that will be incomplete. They weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Here's Michael Pilardi now, standing about a yard deep in his own end zone. Averaging over 50 yards a punt so far as this one's away. And no return on this one as that kicks out of bounds, so they'll start just outside of their own 30-yard line. Damian Harris to the Patriot offense, ready to take over again. And he's found. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And they had a nice little drive going last time. Threw the interception in the red zone. Costly. Bad enough to throw it anywhere, but that drives coaches insane when they're thinking about, hey, we've got a shot at points already. We're already in a spot where you're thinking you've got three on the board for sure, and to come away with nothing, that's a really tough one for them to swallow. Yeah, will they make up for it? And a high throw there as this is knocked away, down to the ground and incomplete. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. This is Harris. And he can only manage to take this thing to the 38, well shy of the first down. Now a timeout called for by the defense as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. We'll call that a 43-yard punt, two on the return, and it'll be Dolphin football. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Throwing now is Chunga Bailoa. And he goes down. It's a Patriot sack. Jawan Bentley gets him for a loss of five. He is so tough to handle on the blitz, and that's exhibit A. 
So that now four first half sacks. This pass rush has been unrelenting. And partner, you hear that sound of paper being ripped to shreds? That's a game plan that they've had so far because they've got to say to themselves right now, we have to do something differently. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Another try after the first down sack. Tua, open man is Waddle complete. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as he'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Tua going to throw. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. Now the Patriots will use the second of their time. drive with Harris 139 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon six yards on that last play here's second and four back to throw Jones this one to board and he's got it and he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40 And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 42-yard line. Looking to throw. Jones. Now Jones is hit. He lost the football. And this is picked up by the Dolphins. Pass the 20. And they will finally put it into the return, but not until he takes it back all the way inside the 10-yard line. And how about... to begin the drive into the secondary past the 40. And he continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over a buck 50 now. And this defense has really had its problems trying to keep him contained. They go play action here on first down. Rush coming and he's taken down. That little set him back nearly 10 yards here on first down on the sack. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Jones throw taken in by Bourne. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets them up for third down. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. Whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football, there's a great example right there. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third quarter of this one, and this is a tight one. In order to maintain pace, keep the ball away from the other team and put points on the board, those are the plays they need to continue to convert. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. They run again with Harris. About three yards there to the 27. If you're looking for glory, looking to get your name in the headlines, you do not want to play nose tackle. But how about what we just saw there? The ability to hold people up, take on extra blocks, and actually slip them and make a tackle on that play. That's big time. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. 
But the kind of game he's had so far, you had to know that on third down, that they would be looking his way, and they did for big yardage and a first down. I think the defense fell asleep at the switch on that one. I would have doubled him, tripled him, anything to keep the ball out of his hands. Harris. Nothing doing there. They're going to wind up holding him at the two. No gain there, and it's going to set up second and goal. So stuff from the two, now what? You know me pretty well. What do you think I want here? Play action. Definitely. Let him get outside and create. And if he has to run it, he has a little bit more space. Feeling the pressure here and taken down. A sack back at the seven. Christian Wilkins. Credit him with a sack, and it goes as a loss of six. So they're coming up here on the ninth play of the drive, and it's third and goal. They run with Harris. And he was able to shed one tackle, but could not get away from there. It's about a three-yard pickup there, but more importantly, they're still a few yards away here. It's now fourth down and goal. The Patriots will bring on the field goal unit. This is a fairly straightforward 22-yard short attempt. And Fultz's kick is good. And the lead works its way up to 10, 24-14. So a nice kick there as they are able to add on to their lead. And that's exactly what you're looking to do. Maneuver yourself into range. That way, if your drive stalls out, you're able to get something out of it. And they do so right there. Waddle is going to elect to not bring this out, and instead his guys will be get at the 25-yard line. Dolphins offense returning to the field. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two-minute. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. And he finds Parker here, complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Quarterbacks love it. Start on the ground with Harris. And strong running there gets this up over the 15-yard line. Boy, 179 yards rushing for him now as his sensational afternoon continues. Harris going to get it again on second down. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. No gain on the play, and now they're faced with a third and one. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And he will get the first down as he's up to the 20-yard line. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Now Jones on first and 10. This one to Bourne out on the left side. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. And hey, when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. Second down at five. Back to throw. Jones. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. On third down, here's Harris. 
And he's got the first down as he's up to the 45-yard line. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because we that type of a run I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired and that's the last thing they need especially when they look up at the scoreboard steps away and they'll get this just to the 47 one yard gain how about a tip of the cap to the defense they're working against a very mobile quarterback but all day long they've kept him under wraps and on that play they held him to a short gain to throw again on second down Jones Open man is born. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins 40. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory right at the 40. Off play action, Jones. And that is knocked away in the middle of the field and incomplete. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Well, now they'll try the end around. Room here to run. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. This is one of those plays that could go either way, but we've seen the influence of the college game now in the NFL, where we're seeing more and more of these plays run, and that one went for a big game. First down, here's White. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. Andrew Van Ginkle there on the stop. Well, no doubt here in the fourth quarter, this is a huge defensive series. Hey, they can read the scoreboard. They realize if they give up a field goal here, this game might be out of reach. They understand the stakes and are playing accordingly. On second down, this is Harris. And he'll get seven yards from the 17 to the 10 before he's taken down. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business in the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. Now here's another carry for Harris. And he's able to pick up the first before he's brought down inside the five at the four. 
It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. From the two now, second and goal. They'll try and run with Harris, and maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. And now third and goal coming up, the loss on second down. That just means this crowd's going to get even louder, and they'll get a little bit of extra help from the defenders as they exhort them to join them in the effort. They'll try to run with Harris. Now he's over the line and into the end zone for a Patriot score. Damian Harris taking it in from two yards out. And the Patriots go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. Extra point hugged the upright a bit, but he gets it to go. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Touchdown. Waddle is going to elect to not bring this out, and instead his guys will begin at the 25-yard line. Miami. Jones on first down. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked off by Jerome Baker. And they'll have the ball set up in the red zone at the 16-yard line. Starts the drive on the ground. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So up through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Looking to throw. Jones. He's got Smith here. Not much there, only a yard. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Harris. And he's got enough for the first across midfield to the 48. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. A gain of three, second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free, and it brings up fourth down. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on down. Yes. 
To throw is Jones. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. He's unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark, really, start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here, or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. Now Jones. And he'll be taken down not before they work it across midfield. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. Got the connection here to board. Now yeah, this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they stop it with 22 ticks to go in the fourth. They'll come up now on second and a yard. They hand this off to Harris. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the ball game. They run with Harris. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. And now here comes their final timeout as they take it with eight ticks remaining. So here now is the kicker, Nick Folk. He made his only attempt earlier. This for the win. And with inside of 10 seconds, eight to be precise, we get whistles and a timeout on the field. So here now is the kicker, Nick Folk. He made his only attempt earlier. This for the win. And this one is no good. He missed it. And a costly one there as this game remains tied here in the fourth. Well, this winds up an empty possession. Everything looked okay. He just never got the ball on target. And knowing him, he'll be disappointed with that effort. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. On the handoff, it's Gaskin. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. They control their own destiny here. They have the football in overtime. Obviously, a touchdown would win it. And I think teams around the league are still adjusting to the idea of going down. It's a little teaching moment here. Overtime rules. Remind us how this goes, partner. Okay, so in the past, we had sudden death. First team to score wins, but no longer. Now, if the team receives the ball, scores a touchdown, they win the game. If they kick a field goal, though, or don't score, the other team gets a possession. And after both teams get a possession, then we're into sudden death. First team to score wins the game. And they will play it safe here and bring this one out to the 25. throw here in overtime finding Bourne here over the middle and they get him down but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line they go back to that well he's had a great game defensively they haven't been able to stop him same thing here in overtime and sometimes that goes to the play caller's ego because a lot of times you have so many different plays you want to call but when you spot a matchup that's working for you or a player that has the hot hand Keep giving it to him. That tells me you're mature as a play caller, and it's working for them in overtime. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at him and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all challenging that defense, and on that go-around, the offense won the challenge. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three.
Now a whistle, and I think a penalty here for a delay. No, they're going to say timeout. They did get the timeout in time. They'll be left with just one remaining here at OT. Three yards to go on second down, and they've got three tight ends out there. Jumbo set on the give. This is Harris. He's got the first down here inside the 30, and he gets this one down to the 24. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. Now a first down carry for Harris. Runs through the contact. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. So a little chunk there on first as they try to chip away down three in overtime. I like your description. Chip away, down three. You don't have to get it all in one big play, although obviously that would be nice. But there's no need to have that type of risk associated with it. Run your offense, get first downs, get yourself in a position where you know you're going to at least get three and keep this game going. If you get six, so much the better. On first down, it's Harris, and he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. Offensive line right now really freeing up the rushing lanes on this drive. And we have to give them props. They've earned them. But these big runs that we're seeing, they don't result without everyone else being involved as well. Blocking on the perimeter has to take place downfield, too. Stevenson. They're able to get a couple here, but won't get across the plane as they stop him right around the one. And I know you, with every carry, especially in overtime, you're just saying, if you're that ball carrier, hold on to the football. Hold on to it, protect it, but not necessarily settling, because you're trying to get to the end zone. You're trying to end the game right here. I know the defensive guys. And he is in for the score! And it is absolute stunned silence here as they win it on the road in overtime. A great game, partner. A spectacular finish. They needed at least a field goal to keep the game alive. They do one better. They get it in the end zone and end it. And I don't know about you, but I'm worn out. That type of a game takes it all out of us as well, not just the guys on the field. What a tremendous finish. And as you noted, were they going to go and try and get three and keep the game going? And that wasn't good enough for them. They got the touchdown, and that's why we're able to say goodbye. Well, I know at points in this when you wanted to close your eyes because of all the points that were being put on the scoreboard, you're a defensive guy, but it was a fun little track meet, wasn't it? It was, and you know the people who really enjoyed this game? They're the ones that like going to batting practice at the Major League Baseball parks, right? <laughs> Seeing the 14-11 to 11 game, that sort of deal, that's right up their alley with what we saw in this one. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaughton. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. And with that, we sign off from Miami.